Today, I'm gonna to be painting my books, which is something that I'm a little bit on the nervous side about. I'm not gonna to lie to you guys. Now, I'm not gonna be here just literally painting all over my books, obviously. What would be the point of that? But today, I'm gonna to be attempting to give some of my books some sprayed edges. If you're sensitive to bookmarkings of any sort, then you might wanna just exit out of this video. This video is not for you. Sprayed edges are when the pages of a book are sprayed with a color, sprucing up the overall aesthetic of the book. It also can be referred to as dipped edges. One of the more notable books with sprayed edges is the Six of Crows duology. When these books came out and everybody saw the sprayed edges, everyone was losing their chill. It was like they had the potential to create world peace. I love how the book community takes little things like sprayed edges and lose their minds over it. Dipped edges have been around for a while, but the reaction to these were outrageous. I'm talking as if I didn't lose my chill over this as well, but you all know how extra I am. I totally was on the bandwagon for losing sleep on over how beautiful these were. Heck, I was driving that wagon. So today, I'm gonna be following a tutorial where somebody did their own colored edges on their books and I'm going to try and give some of my books some colored edges. The thing is the person that created this DIY is a professional crafter and I am definitely an amateur crafter. Realistically I'm probably below amateur level when it comes to crafting. So I'm a little on the worried side here. This could go terribly wrong. A series of unfortunate events featuring Jesse, paint, and books. One wrong flip of the brush and I could easily ruin some perfectly good books. And I really don't want that to happen. Today I'm going to be painting the edges of these extra copies of the Darkest Mind series that I received. That way if I mess them the heck up, I won't feel as bad. But let's be real, I'll still feel terrible. As you can see, each of the books have their own aesthetic, and I'm going to pick out some paint that correlates with each book. Each book has their own color aesthetic. We've got orange, blue, red, and yellow. In this series, the powers are classified with colors. Orange is the power to control minds, memories, and emotions. Blue is the power to move objects. Red is the power to create and control fire. Yellow is to create and control electricity. There's also a green ability, but as you can see, they didn't have a fifth book to give a green aesthetic to. I guess when they release The Darkest Legacy as a paperback, they'll give it a green aesthetic. So here are the list of things that I will need for this project. Non-toxic acrylic paint, paint brushes, painter's tape, and a weight of some sort. Let's go get some supplies. <laughs> Okay, we're back from Wally World. I've got an art haul for you now. You guys want to know what I got? Well, I'm going to share it with you. Let's do this thing. Oh, dang, that went everywhere. I got lots of paint. I've got a black. I've got a blue. I've got a red. I've got a yellow. I've got a green. I just realized I bought green and I don't need green. I did not mean to get this color. That was a waste of money. The color I'm missing is orange. Thankfully, I can mix yellow and red and get orange. Magic. I got most of the colors in metallic because in my mind I was like, ooh, that's going to make it shiny. But I honestly don't think it's going to do that. So that might have been a fail on my part. But metallic. <laughs> then I got some painter's tape. Vroom, vroom. This is gonna protect the precious books from getting paint on them. Then I got these peel and stick stencils because I have an idea, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to execute the idea. We'll see. Let's go do this thing. Okay, I've got all the supplies I need. We're ready to go. I've got more brushes than I actually need. I've got my handy dandy painter's tape. I've got my stencils. And most importantly, I've got my paint. And I've got my drink in this conveniently themed Darkest Minds cup. Also, I'm aware of the fact that this drink looks like blood. I swear I'm not a vampire. <laughs> Step one is to wrap these suckers up up in painter's tape, so let's get to it. I gotta do a real good job protecting these suckers because I don't want to ruin them. They're perfectly nice books. And if I get paint all over them, I'll be upset. Even though that's kind of what this video is. Like, I'm literally gonna get paint all over the pages. But I want to protect the nice covers. So let's get taping. <laughs> taping time, taping time. It is taping time. <laughs> These suckers have been taped up. They are ready for the painting process. I don't know if I'm ready for the painting process, but they're ready for the painting process. I'm still really nervous that I'm gonna mess up, but let's give it a go anyways, I guess. Okay, it's time to get down to business. I'm gonna start out with Never Fade, which is blue. So we're gonna do the blue paint for the blue book. So a part of this process is that you have to have the book as tight as possible while you're painting it. So that's where the weight comes in. And I'm gonna put it on this book while I'm painting. And it should help keep the pages closed to 
together. Can you imagine this being the actual process they use for sprayed edges? Like they have a factory of people all together and they have to go through this whole ordeal. I'm using really fancy cardboard for the paint because we keep it high class up in here. Don't forget we're professional crafters. Ooh, the paint is kind of metallic-y. That's what I wanted. Success! Now which paintbrush am I gonna choose? There's too many options. I don't know which one to choose. This one's nice and thick. I think it'll do a good job. Can you guys tell that I'm avoiding starting because I'm so nervous right now? I just don't want to screw this up. I'm really nervous about the paint making it stick together and not being able to open the book, but the video that I watched, they were able to get the pages detached from each other, so I'm just gonna trust the process. I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna get started. <laughs> I have dipped the brush in the paint. I'm not really a painter. I've, I don't really paint often. I don't know how to paint properly, so this is gonna be terrible. The first stroke has happened. Ooh, it's a nice stroke too. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We have plunged ourselves into the painting process. <laughs> and now we get dead silent and we just focus on painting. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm getting paint everywhere. I feel like so many artists are probably cringing at my technique here, but uh, don't judge. I'm not perfect. I'm not an artist. We are below amateur level here. I can't tell if it's if it's good or not. I genuinely can't tell. Oh, there's paint everywhere though. I'm so nervous. Oh gosh, paint is everywhere. Did it get on the bottom of the book? <gasps> I forgot to tape this side down on this book. Oh no, oh no. This is going terribly wrong. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna turn out bad. Ah, why didn't I check to make sure it had tape on it? Big mistake on my part. This is a disaster. I need to cut myself some slack. This is my first try. I just wanted to be successful with my first try. I'm really nervous that I just screwed everything up. I probably shouldn't have taken the weight off either. a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be easy, but it's not. It's so hard. I feel like I'm not breathing when I'm painting too. I'm just like holding my breath. <laughs> There is more detailing that I want to add to this book, but I'm going to set it aside for the time being and let it dry and then come back in and add that detail. I'm actually, I'm really digging this. Oh wow, okay, I should probably not touch it while it's wet. <laughs> I'm back to the whole no breathing thing while I'm painting. I'm a very serious artist here. up is through the dark so we're gonna do yellow they didn't have metallic yellow how dare they not have metallic yellow so we're just gonna have to go with this basic yellow but it'll be fine it'll just be basic it won't be as nice as the other ones Ooh, that is a bright yellow that's really gonna stand out <laughs> A neon yellow. I don't really love it that much, I'm gonna be honest. Can't always get what we want. I feel like there are artists watching this video right now and just cringing through the whole thing. And to that, I wanna say, I'm sorry. Okay, last book is The Darkest Minds. We're gonna try to make an orange color since your boy picked up green instead of orange. <laughs> no! Oh, I saved it. The next thing that I'm going to attempt to do is stencil out the title of the book on the side. So I'm gonna use this black metallic paint and try to do that.
Okay, so I have decided to not do lettering on each of the books because this was so hard. This was a nightmare. It's hard to get the lettering centered and it's also hard to have patience and let it dry before you move on to the next letter. So only Never Fade is going to have lettering on it. Now we've come to the part in our journey where we have to basically separate each of the pages. It's kind of a cringy part because it sounds like the pages are tearing, but they're not tearing, I promise you. This one's super stiff. Oh, oh my gosh. the sprayed edges. I'm actually pretty happy with how they came out. I will admit they're not perfect and if I were ever to do this again there were definitely things that I would change. But before I talk about that let's just appreciate how well I did with these. I did a pretty good job okay I deserve this little moment here. Mm -hmm. Yes thank you. Thank you for the applause. Yes thank you. Thank you sound effects. Okay so now for the things that I would do differently if I were ever to do this again which honestly I'm not sure if I would ever do this again. It's a long process and you have to have patience to do this which I have no patience. So that alone made it difficult for me to accomplish this. The first thing that I would do differently is that I would never do this on paperbacks ever, 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 ever again. Paperbacks are way too flimsy for this and my paperbacks got beat up in this process. Taking off the painter's tape from these books wrecked these books. I also would probably never again attempt the lettering detail. It was too hard and now there's just one book that has lettering detail on it and it looks stupid compared to the other books. Lastly, I would never use this yellow paint again, not only because I don't like the color. For some reason, the consistency of that paint in particular made it really difficult to get the pages to unstick the pages from each other. Like I had no problems with the red or the blue, but the orange and the yellow, I had difficulties with both of them getting the pages unstuck from each other. And both of those books had the yellow paint in it. So I'm just assuming it's the yellow paint. For some reason, the consistency of that paint just didn't work well with this project. But overall, I am pretty happy with how these turned out. It was a fun experiment and I would probably never do it again. <laughs> it just took so long and I have no patience for this, but it was a fun thing to try. You guys should let me know down below in the comments if you have ever tried a project like this or if you plan to try it out in the future. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.